guys, Andrea Mills here. Um, yesterday was our clothes shopping day, so today I'm going to do a little haul video for you of all of the clothes that we picked up. In case this is your first time watching one of my videos, we have eight children and ranging in age from 2 to 15 and we're expecting a new baby in um, April. So twice a year I try to do most of the clothes shopping. If something comes up in between those times, of course, we'll just get what we need. But um, I do a main shopping in the fall and in the spring to get, you know, fall and winter clothes and then spring and summer clothes. So I have a chart that I go through and I just look at everybody's stuff. We get things down from the attic if we need to switch sizes like for snow boots and things like that and make sure everybody has everything they need. So not everybody gets the same amount of stuff each time. We don't worry about being fair like everybody gets the same amount, but we're fair that everybody has what they need. So um, I just look through, see what we need, and then we go shopping. Now this time I didn't need to buy any shoes because Grandma Kitty had just bought all the kids um, new shoes. Well, that's not exactly true. You needed new snow boots because she's our oldest girl and she has moved up a size and I don't have any girl snow boots that were bigger. And she also needed a new pair of um, just boots that she could wear around the house you know so um, I did get her some shoes and I got Sophia or Claudia a pair of tennis shoes but um, other than that we didn't need shoes so there were no shoes we did not need any um, new snow pants except for Thomas our oldest needed a new pair so um, no new coats this time so we didn't actually have a lot of winter type things to order or to buy this time so um, anyways I'm going to show you what I got already so that I can get these things marked. I mark everybody's clothes with a color system so we can tell whose is whose. And I want to get these marked and put away. But we did a big order yesterday too and that's not going to be here yet. So after I show you this, when the order comes in, then I will film the rest of the haul and show you the rest of the things that we picked up or that we ordered online. So I'll give you kind of a once over here and then we'll look at what everybody got. Tom didn't need hardly anything so we just got him a new pair or a bag of socks. And then the rest of the stuff in this row is Thomas is our 15 year old so we got him two new pairs of jeans, new socks, new underwear and that's all he got at Walmart yesterday but and he actually didn't get any new shirts that we ordered because all of his shirts were still in good shape so that's it for Thomas for the next six months. Asher got two new pairs of pants, he's 13, he has really grown, um, not waist wise, his waist is still quite slim but his legs have gotten really long so we got him some new jeans new socks he also needed new underwear a new winter hat and some new stretchy gloves Judah also needed some new jeans and then his shoes were fine except for the insoles were kind of messed up so I bought some insoles yesterday and then um, new socks a new pair of stretchy gloves and we ordered him some winter gloves also that will be here soon Judah's 12 by the way Justice is 10. He also got two new pairs of jeans, um, new socks, he needed new underwear, um, some new stretchy gloves, and then we ordered him some winter gloves too. Eden is 7 and she needed new snow boots, so she picked, or I picked those actually, and then she picked out these little um, cowboy boot things, cowgirl boots I guess, <laughs> to wear, and she got a new pair of jeans with a pretty belt, um, some new socks. She needed new pajamas, and then um, Sophia asked if she could have Eden's old pajamas, which Sophia already had two pairs, so now she's got three, so we're going to um, go through those and get rid of some of them. But So she got new pajamas, some new stretchy gloves, and she needed a new navy blue shirt. Then on Burgundy Day, I should mention we always wear the same color clothes as each other every day, and on the day we wear burgundy, though, um, the girls usually wear hot pink. So this is Eden's new pink shirt to wear on burgundy day. We also got this little um, shirt and vest set. It came with some leggings to wear with her brown skirt that she already has so when we are wearing our brown she can wear this little um, outfit. Solomon is five and he got two new pairs of jeans, some new socks, and new um, snow gloves. And then these are all the extra gloves because they came in packages with more than one pair. So these will probably just go out in our donation bin. Miss Sophia is three and she got two new pairs of jeans. We need to get her a couple of pairs of leggings. And she got some socks, a pair of stretchy gloves, a pair of snow gloves. And then um, this was on clearance so we got this little blue 
shirt for her to wear. Miss Claudia is two, and she got two new pairs of jeans, some new socks, some new stretchy gloves, and she needed a navy blue shirt, so we got her this one that says cute on the front, and it's got some ruffles, and then she also got the blue outfit to wear that matches Sophia's. And then I got each of the girls a new red dress to wear for Christmas. So it has a pretty fluffy skirt and a nice sequin belt. I did not buy myself anything because I didn't need anything, but about two months ago, I did order myself two new denim skirts. And I got one from denimskirts.com, and that was um, a gift. My friend gave me a gift certificate for that for my birthday. And then when my YouTube friends, Jenny, she gave me a gift card also for my birthday. So I ordered another denim skirt from Amazon with that gift card. So I didn't actually have to pay for either one of those skirts, which was nice. But that's really all I needed. So I now have my two new skirts and I think they're in the laundry. So um, I can't show them to you today. But if they're done when I do my next haul video for the rest of this, then I'll show those to you. What did you get into? Into a marker? Yeah, I think so. Look at this marker <gasps> mess. See colors on that? So now I'm going to use my markers and start marking the tags on all of these clothes and then we can get them put away. Alright guys, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you your new pants and I want you to go put them on your shelf. I'm going to give you a wipe to wash your shelf with and then bring back any of your old pants or shorts that's on the shelf, okay? Okay. Yeah. What about the black ones that got you here? That's fine, you can keep those on there. Okay. Anything that's new, you can keep. Um, you'll need to uh, help your buddies after you get your own shelf done, okay? So there's yours. Is that it? And after? did you get a white Thomas? Yep. Okay. Um, for now, that's it, but there'll be more. That's it for now. Okay, I did it. My basket. I did it. Can't I maybe. So I wiped them up and put them in. And I'm going to leave them on the label. And now it's all clean and nice. Yeah, that's yours. Okay, you can go put that away now, okay? Wait, I get two sides? Yeah, two pants and two leggings. So here is. Claudia's pants first, you can go put that away. I did. And put And Solly's excited. He already brought me his green bin, so we're gonna go through this. Why don't you hop up here and we'll look through it and see what we're gonna keep, okay? We're gonna just keep your six favorite pairs of underwear, okay? So I want you to look at them and what you find a favorite and put it into the bucket, okay? Did you get me the green Sharpie? I couldn't because the green sharpie was clogging the sharpie drawer from opening, so I couldn't okay. get it. It was pulling the Would you get one of the boys to help? Okay. Like Thomas, ask him. Five. Six. Okay. Why? Like, like the color of this. Yep. Okay, you're all done, so you can go put your bucket away, okay? okay. Now, if you girls want to bring your sock drawers in, I'll help you with yours, okay? okay. I'm not mine. Yep. So, Sam put on his new pants, and how does he look? Handsome? Is he so handsome? show that we got Miss Claudia these new shoes here. Is this new underwear? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting rid of mine too? Um, I got you a new package, but if you want to still have your old ones so you have more, that's fine because they were still in good shape. Mom, can you Except that one. Yeah, except that one that you wore skiing that'll never be the same again. <laughs> Come back after you put your buckets away. Come back to stealing them and 
<laughs> Nobody's feeling your socks. Um, look how much he made this like it gets slushy. What's annoying? Yep. Well, I, I'm always like the one who puts their stuff um, those back in the laundry. To, uh, I like yes, justice you. and speed and stuff. Yeah, I can't make <laughs> Okay, Asher, um, you have a new hat and new gloves. So I want you to go hang those up or put them in your no. bins. Make sure you have a clip with your color sticker on it to hang them on, okay? Yeah. Okay, here, you can go hang this up. I outpowered it with skill. Did you? Good. Okay, you can go hang those up in the coat closet. Huh? Both Black and red. Those are your other new, so you got two new pairs. Black and red right here. and everything that we ordered have come in. I did have one problem that I thought these were orange based on the picture, but apparently they're yellow. So I'm gonna have to return these and order some new orange shirts. So Thomas needed some man-sized snow pants, so we got him some new snow pants. And then Miss Claudia, I just bought these old plain t-shirts for her. She needed one in a hunter green and a lime green and a purple. I'm thinking about um, if I ever get around to it, I could put some elastic in here to bunch them up and make them look a little more girly. And I might actually um, sew some skirts right onto the shirts so that they would be little dresses instead of just plain t-shirts. Maybe put a little bow or something in there. But who knows, I might just leave them like this forever. So then all of my boys got um, polos. We needed burgundy. We had a light brown or like a khaki. The hunter green, lime green, teal, blue, navy blue, purple, and a black. And um, the French Toast brand, I really like. They stay in very nice shape for a very long time. So the collars, like with the ones I get from Walmart, the collars will start to kind of get stiff and bunchy after a while. But the French Toast brand stays uh, soft and nice for a much longer time. And I also like that they have a little spot there where it's easy to mark the shirts with the kids' colors so that um, it's easy to see. The George brand comes from Walmart. They stay a little nicer than the Faded Glory brand from Walmart, and they're only about a dollar different, so if I can, I, um, I'd try to get the George brand. The George brand is about $3 or 4 depending on um, a shirt cheaper than the French Toast, but only a dollar more than the Faded Glory, so to me it's definitely worth the extra dollar to get the George, if I can, in the right color. And then, what else? We have this Classroom Uniforms brand with the khaki. Um, I've never, this is our first time having that brand, it's just this is what I could find to get this color. So we'll see how those last, and the same with this um, Jerseys brand, we've never had that before either. So we'll see how those ones last. So you can see we have four sets of all of those. The only difference was that Solomon didn't need a new black, so he didn't get a black polo. Then Judah got new winter gloves, and Justice got new winter gloves. Um, these are actually smaller than I thought they were going to be, so we'll see how long they last in. And then last over here, Eden got a new lime green t-shirt and a blue polo. Um, this is the first time we got one that came with this little detail on the collar for the girls' polos. Also, um, the girls' polos have like a little bit um, narrower sleeves and they're shorter and a little more rounded than the boys. And then the shape of the shirt itself is a little bit more formed than the boys. So they are a little bit um, more feminine in general than the boys' polos. So I think with the exception of needing to reorder those everything's here we're going to get all this stuff marked today and put away in the closets and we're set until our next spring next spring we'll do our next shopping trip so thank you guys for um hanging out with me today and seeing what we got for our fall and winter clothes haul and we'll talk to you guys again very